number two, Barry Review. It's been a long week and a long weekend. Busting my hump, 20 folks seven. Many times on the weekend when I'm out by the grill, I'll have a session beer. Not today. Today we're going Imperial and we're going to go Imperial with a beer from one of my favorite breweries who I think really brings a value in quality and dirt cheap price every single time. And who is it? It's Lagunitas Brewing Company out of Petaluma, California, US of A. Yay, yay. And also now Chicago, Illinois. And what beer is it from them? It's their Imperial Pilsner. This is from one of their limited release series. It's an Imperial Pilsner, as the freaking name suggests. It's a rotating serving. It clocks in at 8.6% ABV and 57 IBUs. That's all I know about the beer besides the mumbo jumbo they had on the side of the bottle that I did not bother reading because, uh, it, yeah. I'm down for drinking today, not reading the side of the bottle. So, time to pop the top on this bad boy that cost me $3.99. Gotta freaking like that for a bomber. Get it in my Pilsner glass and tell you what's up. <sighs> Boom, with the Lagunitas Imperial Pilsner. Damn, I can smell some hops wafting off this biatch from here. Oh, yeah, obsessively collectible Lagunitas Crown. That I've got 8 million of. Anyways, <sighs> yeah. Ooh, that's a little clear one, isn't it? I've been drinking a lot of Pilsners lately, Imperials, Regulars, as you can see, stage right. Pilsners these days come in every shape and form. We've got, we've got, you know, these IPLs, most of them are really big, hoppy Pilsners is when you really get down to is what they are. We've got smoked ones. we got crazy ass ones from Dogfish Heads with 10 malts and 10 hops and that kind of 10% ABV. And then your everyday sort of hoppy, sessionable Pilsner. This is maybe a hoppy Imperial Pilsner. The one from Boulevard wasn't that hoppy that I had, but it was a good beer just the same. So, let's get see what's up with the appearance. Damn, hoppy smelling from here. Okay, plenty of active streaming bubbles. Uber clear, man, this beer. But, yeah, it's kind of a Pilsner thing, and Lagunitas tends to filter a lot of their stuff. We got a solid two and a quarter fingers of head of mega tightly packed bubbles that are a little soap sudsy around the side. When I swirl it, we're going to get glass lacing. It's a Lagunitas beer, and we're getting tons of alcohol lace clinging to the inside top mouth of that glass. But look at that, guys. Gorgeous. That looks like a beer, maybe, like you've seen in a bajillion commercials. That sort of golden amber color. A little bit darker than many of the late Pilsners or Budweiser's of the world, but looks beautiful. Let's see what's up with the aroma and see if it smells beautiful, too. Wow. Piney, citrusy, up in your face. Juicy, juicy citrusy. A bit of pineapple, grassy herbaceousness and a mild dank tone in the background with a touch of bready sort of Pilsner malt. Really crisp and clean smelling, not a hint of alcohol in the aroma whatsoever. Wow. It smells like an IPL. They're calling it an Imperial Pilsner, but it really does smell like an IPL or what they call IPLs these days, whatever the whatever the hell they really are. If they really truly really have a solid definition, who knows? But you know what? I'm right thirsty. I'm diving in, guys. Cheers! Mmm, yum. Mmm. It's not as hoppy tasting as the aroma. The aroma is really big hoppy, relatively for the, for the style, but mmm. Right up front, you get a citrusy blast first. Then after that, you get some grassy, herbaceous hops, a little bit of pine in there, and the finish is super clean. There's not a hint of alcohol in the taste. Some mild, mild chest warming, but this, is, this beer is dangerously drinkable. You could pound this glass without a problem. I mean, the alcohol is in the in the flavor and everything is totally hidden. Wow. Super smooth, velvety carbonation. It's got actually got a medium mouthfeel. A lot of times Pilsners are really thin and watery. This beer is not that. Like I said, awesome glass lacing. Slogan needs this beer. I don't even have to guess. Mmm. Yep. As you drink it, it's a really nice interplay between like some like mild piney bitterness and then like a zippy sort of citrus and orangey fruit bitterness and with a little bit of like pineapple and tropical action going on there but that's really faint and muted in the background but not super complex flavor wise but it's an imperial pilsner i mean it's a higher alcohol version of a pilsner and it's also bigger flavor so i think especially in that department it's totally accomplishing that goal of bringing the bigger flavor and a bigger beer the body's there everything i expected uber easy to drink dangerously so like i said so let's grade this beer Ah, right beer gives it a 94. You know, high A minus, burgeoning on the A level. Beer Advocate gives it a 87, high B plus version. I'm going to go with a 94 on this one. I think it's a real high A minus beer. You know what? Fuck that. I'm going to go with an A. I think for what it is, is exactly as described. I'm going to go with 95. I think it's an A level beer. And, 
you know what, tasting this and knowing what I'm going to go do now, standing out in front of the grill, this beer is going to be the perfect accompaniment for that. And this beer, what I like about this beer is that it's proof that a Pilsner doesn't have to be boring, the mouthfeel doesn't have to be watery and thin. All these Pilsners that I've had were really damn good, and Pilsners are coming a long way, and I think it's a style that once it's probed and explored and developed even more than it is now, it's going to be a style that comes back because the finish on this beer, man, is super clean and there's no like bitter fingerprint in the background that you get sometimes left by real like sort of heavy thick ales and this beer we drink it super clean and like I said this don't mess around with this beer don't be drinking and driving after you pound a bomber of this guys because you're gonna go night night you don't tell that you cannot tell the alcohol is in here and it'll put the hammer down on you and we don't need any of that badness do we so to the next DJ Pro Tube. What we do need is for you to think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. Also, let me know what you think, because I like to quit pro quo and the back and forth. I also really like it when you rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us, and when you decide to reach out and touch someone by smashing that like button. So, to the next DJ Pro Tube, I got nothing but a bunch of Lagunitas Brewing Company, Imperial Pilsner drinking love for you, and you know what's coming, that's right, coming at you, baby, a big ass. Yeah.